okay after a long long time i am trying arrow os on my device i tried arrow os last time maybe with redmi note 10 pro i tried this room in almost all of the supported devices which i have so far and this room is actually one of those custom rooms which has very few less customizations but some useful ones and yes in the terms of stability this is one of the best custom rooms out there we have the latest version available on based on android 12.1 of course with a very good kind of thing that easter egg is the default one stock one it's not the modified or it's not the custom one so this is what we have right now moving on to some default things here quickly as quickly as possible the default launcher is not the pixel launcher even if you use the vanilla version or if you use the google pay, google apps build whichever you use you will not get the pixel launcher pre-installed as far as i know you'll see ROS or maybe the quick step launcher which includes some some of the features like app drawer themed icons if you want to enable this option this option seems to be quite good if you have only less apps or only the apps which are supported for the themed icons then your app drawer will look quite good but unfortunately it's not like that we already use using a lot of android apps which does not support those things the quick settings panel of course as it's based on android 12.1 so as expectedly all the animations kind of things are already present and if i move on to the edit option i'll see the separate wi-fi and mobile data tiles options available so yes this is also one of the positive things out there you don't need to do anything else and if you want to enable or disable any tile from here you simply need to click you don't need to hold and drag etc if you are adding or removing any tile from the quick settings panel if you move on to the app drawer, if you're able to notice, the icon pack is also something different. If I'm not wrong, the icon pack is inspired from PUSP, Potato Open Source Project Custom Room. And yes, if we move on to the safety status, as this matters a lot for some of the users. If you want to use a custom room and you don't want to root your device, then yes, you need safety status to be passed by default. And it is in this case, it's good. You'll be able to use banking apps on your device and yes, I will recommend you to use a custom room without root if you use custom room for banking apps for sure. If you don't use banking apps, don't worry root your device but if you want to use banking apps, I will prefer non-rooted custom room because it might conflict a lot of things if you use that thing. Google Photos Unlimited Backup is also by default included even in full quality so this is one of the positive things of course, pixel props are already included. I also use Pixel these Google Pixel Photos backup a lot more times. I have a lot of backup for photos and videos, etc. And I need this thing. And this thing is by default available in this arrow OS. Before moving further, as we have a lot of giveaways running on our Telegram updates channel, and yes, today is one of those. Volcanic wallpapers is the app which we are talking about. This time only 5 promo codes will be there so join our telegram updates channel as soon as possible while watching this video. The promo codes are coming very soon maybe in 2 hours if you are watching this video after 2 hours you might not be able to get that. I found a lot of great wallpapers in this one by the way and as I mentioned as I tried a lot of wallpapers app why I like this wallpaper app because of the UI. This wallpaper ha app has very good kind of and unique kind of UI. Yes, a lot of wallpapers are also there and it depends upon your preference if you like these wallpapers or if you don't. But the UI of this app is at least good. Go and give it a try. The link for that one is available in the description and the promo codes, 5 promo codes are coming very soon. So make sure to check out that as soon as possible while watching this video. This is about the Volcanic Walls app which is available on the Google Play Store which you can go and download. But now moving moving back to our YouTube video, this is what we have. This is the Arrow OS settings as this room does not have major customizations as I mentioned at the starting of the video. It has some few of the customizations but quite useful ones. We have internet speed meter, we have uh, some of the things for example data usage. Sorry internet speed meter is not included I think so. But data usage somewhere in the quick settings panel is included. The game space is not the default one which you have in the pixel devices and it's the custom one. And if you want to take a look at how it is actually looking like how is the UI if you don't know about these custom game space kind of things. Let me try to add this game space in any of the apps as I don't play games so yes this might be complicated for me. I tried this game mode in this safety test app just to show you that how is the UI going on, how is the UI look, looks like. If I move on to the settings as settings game space settings, 
this is the ui which we have you can customize the mode we have the heads up related options fps info stay awake and lock gestures these are few of the things which you have as a uh, carvo swiss latest version is coming very soon while making this video and in that custom mode the game space is improved a lot we have a lot of new things ram state is available and some of the other things are also available some of the few tweaks are there you will love that for sure i think so if you move on to other options if you move on to the notification section we have the option for center heads up which is basically heads up less annoying kind of thing which is available in this ROS and as I just mentioned it already has some useful features for you and this is one of those. If you move on to the battery section you will be able to wipe the stats if you want to you can reset the stats and as if you are able to notice the battery usage is from the last full charge. It's not from the 24 hours as like in pixel we have the battery usage from the past 24 hours but in this one we have the battery usage from the last full charge and also you cannot change this this is already available this is not available as an option and battery saver does not have the extreme battery saver you can get that very easily by the way I have a video that how you can get the extreme battery saver on almost all of the supported devices but this is not included by default. If I move on to the sound options, you'll be able to check out the in-call vibration options as I just mentioned that this room has all the useful features you need in a custom room. And yes, in-call vibration options also plays an important role. Vibrate on connect, call waiting and disconnect etc already there. You can even disable the screenshot sound if you want to. If I move on to the display settings, it does not have any major changes but if i move on to this option as i mentioned there daily data usage in quick settings footer option is there which is actually a very useful thing as if you're a miui user if you love miui just because of that data usage kind of thing it's also present in this version so yes in the terms of stability ROS is one of those custom rooms which you will definitely love but yes i will rather prefer you I'll rather prefer use this custom home without root if you want to root you can no worries about it but yes if you use without root you will feel better stability and a lot more improved things security section does not have the app lock unfortunately it will only give you the fingerprint and screen lock as you just saw but no app lock as it is also not one of the things which you definitely need that if you move on to the gestures options Yes, we have swipe to screenshot, we have advanced restart and all of the things which you were looking for, almost everything is already present. This was about the Arrow OS latest version. The official supported devices link is already available in the description. Go and find out and if your device does not have the official version, you can try out finding unofficial version for your device. Two ways to find out, you can get the unofficial version from Telegram or you can get the unofficial version from XDA or maybe from any other side but I will rather prefer the official telegram channel or XTA only. This is all from today's short and simple video. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.